welcome, welcome to our day number two of um, Code Tober. Yes, so for today, we're going to see the now function in DataWave. If you're not familiar with it, here is the best place for you. So um, we have this now function. Let's take this example. Basically, the now function returns um, today's date and time as well. So if we use this, let me just remove this um, field one and field two. All right. So now that we're doing this, um, on this first now uh, date, we can see that is the complete date and yes today is october 1st <laughs> i'm cheating and i'm re pre-recording my videos on the same day because i am lazy to do it every day all right so um it's saying here that is uh 22 huh i guess it depends on what the server time is because right now it's 6 p.m here Oh wait, yeah, it is based on the server because it like if I'm using now, it is based on what time it is now from the server because I am accessing this data with playground from uh, a, a URL, like a public URL, then it depends on the time of the server. If I were to do this in my local data with playground, then it would take my machine time, which would say that is 6 p.m. instead of 10 p.m. Yes, that was a whole explanation. Continue. And so we're saying time now uh, to America, New York. And this is showing um, 18 because again, in the server's time, this is getting moved to New York, which is now the 18 hour. And this is also showing here the time zone, which is minus four. Now I can change this, for example, to Plus, yeah, let me just create a new field. And now this field is showing uh, that it's 15. So if 15, 18, and 21, huh, and this is minus seven, so this means that the server's time is two hours ahead of New York. I don't know what time zone is that. I don't want to investigate, <laughs> but yeah. And we can also say, for example, field. And now we have 15, 17, 18, and 22. Um, yes, and that is how you can use the time zone with the now function. And here are other formats that you can use as well. So if I go back and I put all of this here, you will see that you have the now function. Then you have epoch time, which is essentially just taking now as number. Um, also notice that, let me just change this to DW. So you can see the actual um, formatting of each field. So this now time this, this means that this is a daytime, an actual daytime. And then this epoch time is just a number, as you can see here as number. Then you have nanoseconds, which is also a number. And then everything else is just a number. This is a string and this is a string as well. So if you want milliseconds, you just have to say now dot milliseconds. And if you want seconds, now dot seconds, minutes, hour, day, month, year, quarter. Oh, even quarter. I didn't even know that. Um, day of week. Day of week would be a number. Day of year. You don't know that either. <laughs> um, offset seconds. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, formatted date. Yes, if you want to change the format of the date. And finally, you can also format the time, which is hours, minutes, and seconds and now if i put this back as json um you will see that these two are clear strings and the thing that i don't like to use json a lot because then for example this date it just looks like a string it doesn't really uh, differentiate whether it's a string or a date 
And if I put DW, then I can clearly see that this is a date. All right, so that's pretty much it. And notice that all of these functions, you can also use them for an actual date. So for example, if I were to use a bar, and so if I put this date now here, then you can see that it's 2021, 10, 10, and it's a date. Um, and I cannot use seconds, milliseconds, and any of that because those are from time. But if I use this on the day, for example, now I can see that day is 10. Then if I put it on the month, month is, oh, it's still 10. <laughs> um, okay, let's change this. Let's say 2020. Let's say 11, 11. So now we say day, month, and year is 2020. So you can also do this for any other date. You don't have to do this just with now, but this is a great example of how to use the now function. Um, and also another thing that I've seen when you use epoch time, let me just put the epoch time too. All right, if you put epoch time to this date as number and then unit, you can select, for example, for example, seconds. Oh shoot, I need to have a complete date. Okay, so now as number, you need seconds. Oh, this is in parentheses, uh, in quotes. All right, so if I do this, let me get rid of all of the other stuff. Or no, you know what? I'm gonna do this on the next video. <laughs> all right, so I will do this on the next video tomorrow, so keep posted or if the next video was already posted then you can just watch it <laughs> um and i guess that's it for today all right thank you so much and i hope to see you tomorrow bye, -bye.